The Chamberlain B4613T is not a flashy garage door opener motor, but that's okay. It offers a single 1000 lumen built-in LED, and that's fine. You get a couple of remotes, a wireless keypad, and it even comes with a battery backup. Sure, whatever. Can you tell I'm not excited about this retail garage door opener motor? Well, in this review, I'm going to explain why. Let's party. Hey party people, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and on this channel we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. Chamberlain has not sponsored this video, thus the opinions expressed in this video will be based on my time and experience installing this motor. So we can talk about specs and this particular garage door opener motor is pretty much one of your entry level retail garage door opener motors. This motor offers a built-in 1000 lumen integrated LED, a quiet DC belt drive motor with the soft start, soft stop travel, a battery backup, a multifunction wall button, and Wi-Fi connectivity. Basically, these are the bare bone specs of what this motor offers, but if you think that's all to this review, then you need to keep watching. For example, this motor comes with a polycarbonate plastic housing that is a dust and fingerprint magnet. In other words, it gets really dusty and dirty. And quite frankly, if you have a garage door opener motor that collects dust and dirt, well, sooner or later, that's gonna be an eyesore. Now, polycarbonate is not a bad word. In fact, the build appears sturdy and the design is seamless. Nevertheless, it feels cheap. And polycarbonate garage door motors have been around for a long time, but I can't help but feel that this particular design is just not that great. Now, I have talked about in the unboxing video of this front and back orientation to this motor and how it has a little ledge perfect for a bird's nest or anything else to collect up there. So if that matters to you, it's something to take into consideration. Now, if you're a do-it-yourselfer or property manager, you shouldn't have any problems installing the rail assembly to this motor. It's virtually the same of all the other Chamberlain motors or Craftsman motors. Just keep in mind, there are a lot of pieces to take into account. Thus, if you assemble this rail assembly, it's going to come in pieces. More pieces means more wear and tear. Just something to think about. And of course, you're gonna have a number of visual aids or instructions to help you with that installation process. For example, Chamberlain has these great videos online that you can follow step-by-step step to see how to install this motor. And you can also find step-by-step -step 3D instructions on the Built app. Now, a few things that this motor does right is the fact that it has a DC motor, it has a multifunction wall button, and a built-in integrated LED. And if there are any features that you're going to want in your garage door, you're definitely going to want a quiet DC motor. You're going to want a lot of multifunction features to the actual motor. And that happens specifically or straight from the wall button. And if you follow my channel, you know that I emphasize the importance of having good lighting in your garage. So these three features are good to a certain degree. For example, the DC motor is really loud. I don't know why it's loud. And I know some DC motors will have a certain hum or a certain noise to them, but it seems that this particular model or this particular motor is a lot louder than normal. As for the multifunction wall button, this motor was supposed to have an illuminated LCD wall button. But due to the situation affecting the world right now with all the shortages, they ended up going with just a standard button that doesn't even have a motion sensor on it. And last but not least, that integrated 1000 lumen LED does emit a good amount of light, but it's positioned behind the motor as opposed in front of the motor. I think most homeowners would like to come into the garage and have the light perhaps maybe hover them, but the fact that they positioned it behind the motor, I don't know, maybe that's just a preference on my end. Perhaps I could be wrong, perhaps. No, that can't be right, because in fact, they have a few motors that have front and back orientations. So clearly, this is just one of those things that they said, you know what, we gotta make some of these models different, so instead of putting it in the front, we're gonna put it in the back. I would have much preferred the LED to be up front, 
So that way when you drive in, it's going to illuminate the majority of your garage as opposed to being behind the motor where it's pretty much illuminating everything up to your front door. It's okay. And that's the narrative of this video. The Chamberlain B4613T is just okay. It's fine. It's mediocre. It is what it is. And I think most customers will look at the price of this motor and maybe think once or twice whether they're going to go for something at this price point knowing that they're going to get some okay features. But what I've just pointed out again are my opinions. Thus, if you have an opinion about this motor or a question about this motor or any other motor, please chime down below. I'd love to be able to hear from you. In fact, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in this video should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I'm nobody, but at the same time, it's important for you to understand your garage door needs and your garage door circumstances. And if you don't care to know those needs, then reach out to a contractor because that's what we're there for. Now, if the Chamberlain 4613T still sounds like a party to you, well then check out the affiliate links down below. But if you're looking for an almost flagship garage door motor experience, then check out this review of the Chamberlain B6753T. I wanna thank you guys for partying with me and watching this video. And as always, y'all stay safe.